And we are back with the fourth segment of the GSMC Basketball Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. And in this fourth segment, we're going to talk about four WNBA records that were broken in one night recently in the WNBA. Now, this didn't happen last night. This happened a couple of nights ago. And at the time of that I'm recording this, there was another record that was recently broken. And there's something else going on in the WNBA that you guys will see in a future segment. But again, since this is pre-recorded, I can't really do that. I apologize for, you know, waking up and throwing up, but I can't really help that. Anyways, first player um, with 25 points, 10 assists in back-to-back games. Guess who? You guessed it, the one and only, the rookie of the year, the greatest rookie to ever set foot in WNBA history. Caitlin Clark, the first player with 25 points, 10 assists in back-to-back games in WNBA history. The fact that this hasn't been done in WNBA history is not only ridiculous in my opinion, but also just ridiculous how much better she is than every other great that came before her in the WNBA. Like, her raw talent, her skill, her ability to score, her ability to pass, it's so much better and more advanced than any WNBA player that you can even think of. And think of this, like, 25 and 10 on back-to-back games, which has never been done before, and this is only... Caitlin's rookie year like imagine how much better she will be when she like with more years under her belt with more experience under her belt like she might be nearly as good as the next woman I just met I'm going to mention Aja Wilson now Aja's uh, she is our she is like the best player in the in the WNBA like there's really no question about it I know I like to you know joke around saying that it's Caitlin but I only the only reason why I joke about it is because it's only a matter of time that Caitlin is going to be the best one in the league. It is only a matter of time. But as of right now, um, Aja Wilson is the best WNBA player in the in the WNBA. She recently became the second player with forty points and fifteen rebounds in a game in WNBA history. Only the second player to ever do such a thing. She is an all-around threat everywhere on the court. There's nothing that Aja cannot do when you see her. She has the ability to score. She has the ability to rebound. She has the ability to pass. Every single aspect that you can ask for in a player, that's Aja Wilson. And TJ and I, TJ, he does the sports podcast. We've actually both said that if there was any player in the WNBA that might be able to translate to the NBA, it would be her. And I personally, I think if we give Caitlyn a little bit more time, like maybe she would be able to, like just a little bit. Again, not really, not really all that much because of her height and how much taller she and how much shorter she'll be compared to the rest of the guards. But aside from that, I think Aja definitely would be able to make the jump. Caitlyn is a little bit more questionable, and I'm talking about. Not now, Caitlyn. I'm talking about Caitlyn for the future. So, it's still up for the. It's still up in the air with that. Next player who broke uh, WNBA record is Angel Reese. Now, this one could arguably be seen as the most impressive record on this list, aside from maybe um, Caitlyn's first ever twenty five back to back twenty five and ten. Now. It, it's it's up for debate. Like I can't, I honestly cannot really decide which one is better because Reese recently just grabbed the most rebounds in a single season in WNBA history, which is literally ridiculous. A rookie just got the most rebounds in a season for the entire WNBA's conviction. A rookie did that. Like, if that doesn't... It, it's the same thing that I said with Caitlyn. Her game is just so much more advanced than every other WNBA player that came before them. They're just better. Now, obviously, the rebounds, you know, they are a little bit... How should I say? 
inflated because of how often she can get them off of her misses. And I'm not just trying to be a hater. I see that happen all the time. But aside from that, that is still a very impressive feat to... And that's still a very impressive record to break. Now, I, like, it's the fact that um, Angel's record has mainly come off of her own misses is really, like, the big reason why I'm probably going to give Caitlyn just a little bit more edge over... Um, over Angel's record that she broke, again, like, it's really, like, it's it's marginal. It's, like, really, really close right there. It's really close. But she also, Angel also was able to become the first player in WNBA history to have three consecutive 20-plus rebound games, which, again, is also really insane. Like, these players, they're just so much more advanced. It's unbelievable. And... I also don't under I also don't like how like there aren't more um WNBA athletes talking about them as good as NBA athletes would talk about younger rookies in the NBA. Like I just I cannot stand the fact that there aren't many WNBA players in the league right now that are like giving her the hype and the props that she deserves as well as the hype and the props that Caitlyn would deserve and something like that. But Again, maybe it's just bitterness, whatever you want to call it. But aside from that, the final record that was broken was from Arike Ogunbowale. Again, forgive me if I just completely wrecked that name and I botched it completely. But she recently tied the WNBA record for threes in a game, which was nine. So she just needed one more three, and that would have broken the record for most three-pointers made in a WNBA game, which is... Honestly, like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's a, I don't know if I want to call that um, shocking, I guess, because like nine threes in a game, obviously, you know, that's really difficult. But in the NBA, we've seen so many other players be able to rack up double digit three point shooting that it's like, hmm, I don't know what to, I don't know what to make of this, but it's like, it's the fact that the biggest number of threes like made for the WNBA is nine, like. I have a feeling Caitlyn is going to break that <laughs> in the future. But aside from that, I mean, nine three-pointers in a game, that's still really impressive regardless of where you come from. But I'm, I'm more surprised that it's a record because actually, you know, maybe that's partially because of just how good and consistent the NBA shooters are compared to the WNBA shooters. I'm sorry, but like, that's just how it is. But again, We've in the NBA, we've had the luxury of seeing stars like Clay Thompson and Steph Curry shoot the ball. So, I mean, the WNBA obviously has never had that kind of talent. So, I guess it makes sense how the record is only nine, but again, was a little bit taken aback. So, that's all that I have on this fourth segment with the records and those were all the records that were recently broken and it was a little bit of a shorter segment than the rest of them i know but we're gonna go ahead and go into the final segment where i finally talk about the player who i feel doesn't deserve to win the mvp in this specific year now the year is 1973 and the MVP for that year is Dave Cohens. So let me know, well, actually no, let me know in the comments what you guys would think think about Dave Cohens, if you guys have heard of him. And let me know what you guys would think about this next segment. And be sure to tune in for that right after this short break. So I will be right back. <laughs> 